Florida Atlantic University, a place where we will begin a new adventure here on the channel, here on NCAA 11 Dynasty Mode. Yes, you heard that right. And we get to be playing in a state-of-the-art stadium. Something that, well, looks like this. A stadium that is indeed ready to host a dynasty. And I'm... Wait, this came out when? What, what date? Oh my goodness. Uh, well, scrap that. Uh, we're actually going to be playing here at FAU Stadium under construction for this Florida Atlantic University NCAA 11 Dynasty because this is what the stadium looked like back in 2011. And I am excited to begin this journey with you with a whole new team, a whole new cast of characters to get excited about here with our Dynasty mode here on the channel. We're going to meet some players here today and our first one is going to be our quarterback, Sean Kennedy. He doesn't exactly have great throwing power, but he is a tank. He's a big, big-bodied quarterback, so uh, he's going to be withstanding a multitude of hits back there. Let's take a look at some of his weapons. As we get to see here, Chad Marshall. And, uh, yeah... Uh, okay, well, well, what about Darren Patterson? Darren, can you catch a pass? Oh, yeah, yeah. So we're going to be throwing to a lot of tight ends in this series, as you can see here on uh, the quarterback matchup, which is actually uh, probably our most talented player on the squad is Scott Patterson. Our wideouts aren't very good, so it's going to be a tight end heavy team. But what about the schedule? Well, here's the schedule as you get to see multiple games that uh, should pique some interest in terms of some Florida football fans. We have a rivalry game against Florida in terms of a three-year deal, a two away games and one home game for FAU. But ultimately, FAU will be trying to battle it out here in the Sun Belt as this team looks to maybe get some swagger in their step as we uh, will ultimately be playing a NCAA 11 dynasty with some new rules to make it a little harder for recruitment. As you can see, in year one, we only get to target recruits three stars or lo lower. We haven't done anything that warrants us any big time recruits. We have a recruitment state limit that I'm going to touch upon here in just a moment. And then only interested recruits allowed. It's a little wrinkle that I want to throw in here for year one. And ultimately... I think this is going to provide a realistic kind of playing experience as we try to build up FAU to a dynasty. Taking a look here at our map, I basically wanted to make a challenge for myself. So as you can see, we have Georgia and uh, we have uh, Florida, obviously, for Florida <laughs> Atlantic and uh, being able to, well only recruit from the states that touch florida as you can see that gives us a leniency of three different states and i'm excited for this i think that this is going to add a new wrinkle to uh what we get to do here and there is a way to increase our map as you can see we are flirting with the carolinas and also the lower seaboard it, it'll be interesting to see if we can expand this we'll talk about that here in just a moment but know that there's there's room for growth here but we are very limited in terms of three states States that we can actually go and recruit for and with that said we have uh members on this team that we're gonna try to recruit from from georgia and florida and ultimately uh be limited to who we are going to be scouting uh in year one as you can see we can increase our our, well, our, our, our ability to do things in this franchise. We need to win the Sun Belt to add a state to our said expansion for our, uh, for our recruitment. That's going to be huge for us. And I think two bowl wins can get us to wiggle out of the fact that we're only able to recruit interested recruits. So then we can go out and actually battle for guys that maybe don't have us on their radar right away. There's also ways to lose things here in this franchise is we're going to take a look at if you lose a bowl game, you have to automatically recruit just team needs for the next season. That could be huge for us as we carry along. And then 
uh, losing season, we take a star away from the recruits in which we are supposed to go out and target. So if we lose our bowl game in the first season, if we do make a bowl game, um, then we're only limited in who we recruit. And then if we have a losing season if, in our first year, we're down to two stars or below. So we're walking on a razor's, razor's edge right now in this FAU dynasty mode here in NCAA 11 and ultimately I wanted to kind of show you a little bit here of the team in terms of who I'm going to red shirt you can kind of take a peek of who maybe you are going to gravitate to on this roster in terms of guys you want to root for year in and year out I'm really excited to start something new here on the channel i got burnt out with the gonzaga videos and um it wasn't because i didn't like the content it was just because i couldn't get my setup the way i wanted to there's a whole nother video on the channel that explains all that and i, I apologize for anybody that might be looking for gonzaga content i might come back to that in the future but ultimately i love ncaa 11 i'm going to talk about it more here in the future but i love the lighting i love the presentation and I think this is going to make for a really, really cool dynasty idea and uh, one that's unique here on YouTube. Well, if you like that, please like, comment, and subscribe. Love to have you guys around for our journey here in week one as we play UAB as FAU. Uh, I will keep uh, on making videos as long as you keep watching. Bye.